I welcome all the dignitaries who have come all the way from different parts of the country, representing various states, departments, establishment, association, and organization to our Himalayan state of Sikkim. Coming to the agenda without delay, I would like to highlight a few significant points about disaster risk reduction in the state. We stand ready and continue working together with the Himalayan states and other stakeholders to establish a new disaster risk reduction framework for the region. We see prevention as one of the keys to disaster risk reduction and understand the need to crop climate change and the loss of biodiversity. The loss of forest cover weakened nature's ability to withstand extreme weather even and we need to collectively work to strengthen and protect the ecosystems and invest more in environmental and climate resilience. Our government has taken necessary steps to protect our environment by implementing various environment-friendly policies. As such, as the mountain states have their perils and hazards which vary from the plains, I would like to draw your kind attention towards towards landslides, which is a perennial phenomenon affecting the people and livelihood, transport and communication, etc. You may have witnessed numerous sites on, on your way to Gantor. Yes, with the road widening some effect are observed on the hilly terrain, but the slides are triggered by the innocent rainfall. Everywhere the state incurs huge losses due to landslide, Although the state government react immediately in such instant, however, I would like to highlight items and norms of assistance issued periodically by the government of India. The NDMA and MHA officials are prompt and have been responsive in all instances, yet it may be pertinent to have a separate set of items and norms for the hilly, mountainous state considering the peculiar features and the fragile landscape. Further, there are numerous areas in, in all the six districts of the states which are vulnerable to major slaves, which include Sivgir village in Mangan district, Chanmari, Tamangumpa, Tibet and Joda, Lumse and Manbe Kolon in Gantok district, Bozek and Sisne in Soring district, Satyung in Gezing district and Dambu Dara in Namji district to name a few, which require immediate intervention and mitigation to save lives and properties. Therefore, I see the opportunity provided by this conclave to save the course of actions for long-term mitigation measures through discussion and deliberation of all the representatives from Hilly State's presence here. I would like to mention here that in the several difficult situations, the central government under the dy dynamic leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Nadir Modi ji has lent a helping hand and pertinent to our state and I offer a debt of gratitude for the kind concern to the Honorable Prime Minister and the central government. Before I conclude, I would, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the respected member secretary of NDMA Sri Kamal Kishore ji, the respected members and respected joint secretaries from NDMA, MHA, and the Ministry of Donors for their benign presence. Similarly, I would like to thank the respected dignitaries, representatives, and officials from various states, establishment, departments, and organizations, and all the respected stakeholders for their invaluable presence here. I appreciate the effort and dedication of the Land Revenue and Disaster Management Department for successfully hosting this significant meeting with a profound, profound outcome. Lastly, I wish the respected guests, organizers, participants, and all the stakeholders the very best and on behalf of the most beloved people of Sikkim, I extend the warmest Deepawal greetings and I wish you a nice and pleasant stay in our state of Sikkim. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Sikkim. Thank you.